what Darwin did is give people license to do whatever they wanted to do because we came up through the animal world. Well, Darwin gave him a worldview, and it was based on natural selection. It basically said the stronger shall survive. If you come to the table presupposing there's not a god, we weren't created, we just evolved by accident, happenstance, that also is going to have great implication for what you believe about your own value as a human being. In 1859, Charles Darwin published a book which caused an incredible stir, not only in the scientific community, but in the world at large. The book's complete title was On the Origin of the Species by Means of Natural Selection or the Preservation of Favored Races in the Struggle for Life. It's not just an idea of ape-like creatures supposedly changing into people. It's much more than that. It's really a whole way of thinking. It's really a philosophy of life. Actually, I would say it's really a religion to explain life without God. And you know, when our public schools have, by and large, thrown God out, the Bible out, prayer out, they say they've thrown religion out, but they haven't. They threw Christianity out and have replaced it with the religion of naturalism. Because what Darwinian evolution is all about is ultimately naturalism, and naturalism is atheism. And that's what's really happened. The rise of social Darwinism, which stressed the survival of the fittest, came to full fruition in the totalitarian regimes of the 20th century, where unspeakable horrors were committed against those viewed as inferior in the evolutionary schema. It even impacted who would be allowed to be born through the acceptance of eugenics, meaning technically good birth. Eugenics took root though because it had a kind of social Darwinist aspect to it. Uh, how do we reshape society? How do we build a better future? How can we have tomorrow land? a perfect world with a perfectly healthy and uh, very scientific and mindful citizenry. That was the goal of eugenics. And uh, essentially, Planned Parenthood became the, the, the foot soldiers of the eugenics movement. Led by its founder, Margaret Sanger, Planned Parenthood bought into the evolutionary worldview. And as a result, millions of preborn babies have been killed. During her lifetime, Dr. Margaret Sanger said, colored people are like weeds and they need to be exterminated. There is evidence on record that Planned Parenthood is out to target minority communities. Many of the Planned Parenthood clinics are in minority neighborhoods. In Romans 1, Paul talks about the degeneration of man into gross sin because they rejected God first and foremost. He says, for although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. Because of the Darwinistic, atheistic mindset and the egalitarian mindset that everything just evolved, everything came about by purposeless, undirected, you know, natural selection, and everything is egalitarian and equal, and you can't say males and females are different, we're to the point now that personal autonomy has become really so ingrained and militant that I can identify as a different gender. I say what gender I am, not my birth biology. In other words, we're in a state of societal chaos. So when you think about that, when you have generations of kids that are now told you can explain all of reality, the whole universe, life, humans, without God, there is no God, then who decides right and wrong? Who decides what's good and what's bad? This thinking bore its worst fruit in Hitler's Third Reich. Darwin was a major contributor to the Holocaust. The Holocaust literally says by selection. The Holocaust picked races, and those races were supposedly in German philosophy, under Hitler, under Nazism, were the undesirables, the weak. And so by the idea of natural selection, the, tr the idea that natural selection by traits, by selection of traits, they 
just arbitrarily selected those traits and they said, well, Jews are weak, uh, the blacks are weak. Now here's the struggle that people are in. On the one hand, we are taught that we came up through the animal world. Like the monkey said in the zoo, am I my keeper's brother? He asked the question. So we came up through the animal world. But when we begin to act like animals, and a man takes a gun and shoots a whole lot of students in a school, suddenly, how could this happen? What is, what is really taking place? Well, he came up through the animal world. So what else are you expecting? 